Okay, everybody, let's do a quick educational here on the National Weather Service Weather and Hazards Data Viewer page. This is a great tool where you can scroll all over the United States here and check out all kinds of different weather stations. It's really fun to watch areas try to hit record high temperatures and it updates every five minutes. So you can kind of get an update there on some of the temperatures, but you got to use caution with it because a lot of times the data it displays here is incorrect. And in order to understand why that is the case, you have to understand how it grabs the data from the raw observation and how it rounds here and a lot of times will give you an error in the actual temperature here. So Palm Springs showed 124 today, which it actually did hit, but I'm going to show you why that isn't always the case and why these numbers cannot be trusted and why you have to learn how to read the raw data information. So right now it's 123 degrees out there, or at least it says. And then if you go ahead and dive in, you can see it updates about every five minutes and it gives an hourly observation there. And then every five minutes, going back to about three o'clock, actually about 2.15 here this afternoon, it hit 124 there. But again, this may be incorrect data. So if you click on that Palm Springs page there, you really have to go in and check the raw observation data, which is here. And this looks like a bunch of gobbledygook here if you don't speak METAR here for the National Weather Service. But taking a look at this, and at 23.53 Zulu, which was 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here, that temperature right there, 50.6, gets rounded up here in this data to 51 degrees Celsius. So the problem is, is that the ASOS here in Palm Springs reads by Fahrenheit. So that is 123 degrees. It gets put in at 50.6, but then the raw observation kind of rounds that up to 51. But then the problem is the National Weather Service page takes that 51 and if we put in 51 Celsius, you can see it's going to display it as 124 when it was actually 50.6 rounded up in the raw observations. And so it should be 123. So very interesting stuff. And then when the ASOS actually does report 124, it comes in at 51.1. So you wouldn't know it just by looking at the raw observation in the body of the actual text. So right here, you would see 51 and 51. But the difference is here, these both showed 51, these two hours in a row. The difference is this one was 123 and this one was 124. How would you know that? You have to actually dive into here and this T051.1. So but just I just know that that is 124 because I've done so many METAR, you know, Celsius to Fahrenheit conversions in my life that I just know it. it's kind of memorized. But here's the 50.6 and I know that's 123 here. So the National Weather Service page cannot tell the difference between these two observations. So it will, it will show both of these at 124 here. So let me update that. Looks like we have a new observation in there. And you can see again, came in at 51 and it went back down to 123. The last two hours, the last two hourly observations have come in at 123 Fahrenheit here. So just something interesting to watch. I saw this controversy come up again today on Twitter. So I just want to make that clear here that you got to look into the raw observational data that only comes out every hour to make sure that the readings here on this graphic here and on this tool is correct. And again, there's Palm Springs right there at 123. So hopefully that makes sense. Watch the video a couple of times. If not, ask some questions below and I'll try to explain it further here. But yeah, I got to take these with a grain of salt. These temperature readings here are often incorrect, even though they are from the National Weather Service and they are reading from official observation data that can be wrong due to rounding errors and how they gather that information from the raw METAR code. So anyway, Hope you guys are having a hot day here across Pacific Northwest. I know we are just ramping up this heat wave. California is dealing with it as well. Just crazy times out here. And uh, yeah, plan on doing my normal briefings tomorrow. Click like and subscribe and we'll see you guys then.